Yeah, what's, what's that aroma in the air? You guessed it, it's politics. Voters in Newfoundland and Labrador will get to elect a new government sometime soon. With a fixed election date and with three plus years into a liberal mandate, the political calendar is turning fast. Despite the fixed date election, that guy up on the eighth floor can drop the writ anytime. A fall election though, not likely, though the political machinery is already in high gear. Look like you're ready for uh, something big. I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> the opposition PCs are circling like sharks. Winners of two of the last four by-elections. Their aggressive social media campaign is getting under fury skin. Making things personal, trying to turn complex issues into slogans and Dr. Seuss rhymes, doesn't work. We need better solutions that make a difference today. Wakeham is confident the PCs can end the Liberals' 10-year grip on power. There's change in the air. People, governments have a useful shelf life. And I think, I believe that people are looking for change. They're looking to make their lives better. And that's exactly what the PC government that I lead will do. We will make life better for people. We've made bold, courageous, transformational decisions and actions that will change Newfoundland and Labrador for the better. The Premier is also fired up, enthusiastic about his government's focus on health care reform improved access to childcare, a swelling population driven by immigration, unashamedly promoting oil and gas in this era of climate consciousness. It's a product that I love. It's a product the world needs. Talking tough when it comes to a potential hydro deal with Quebec. This is our electricity, it's our water, it's our time, and if they're going to show up, they need to pony up. With the Prime Minister about as popular as a toothache after Halloween, Fury broke ties with the Federal Party. The two sides are at odds over everything from equalization and fisheries management to immigration and the carbon tax. So expect Fury to keep downplaying any connection to Trudeau, like he did in this January by-election, and just like Susan Holt did this month in her spectacular victory in New Brunswick. And the pace is picking up. We're being flooded with news releases from the Liberals, the PCs and the NDP. Andrew Fury makes announcement after announcement. The opposition keeps firing back. The progressive conservative government that I lead will do things differently and better for people. Here's the current breakdown of seats in the House of Assembly. Fury has been Premier since the summer of 2020, led the Liberals to a slim majority during a controversial pandemic election in 2021. And next week, back in this chamber, defending his government's agenda. Very clearly, we got a long ways to go. And no doubt, taking it on the chin from critics like this man. We're definitely ready for an election. So it's not if, it's when for an election call. Andrew Fury can ignore that fixed date election and he can go early. And right now, all he's saying, wait and see. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.